Hi, my name is Jim Lee. I'm here to talk about the reasons that companies get ISO certified to various ISO standards. It doesn't matter whether you're a manufacturing company, service company, government agency, or a school or a laboratory. It doesn't matter what the standard is, ISO 9001. In the automotive industry, there's ISO TS16949. In the aerospace industry, there's AS9100, AS9110, AS9120, and, and other AS standards, NADCAP accreditations. On the laboratory side, there's accreditation to ISO 17025. On the environmental side, ISO 14001, occupational health and safety, ISO 18001, medical device, telecommunications, it goes on and on and on. All these ISO standards that you could get certified to. Three primary reasons that companies get certified to the various ISO standards. The first reason is that you're required to. It's dictated by your customer or it's an industry requirement or in some cases like toy testing, it's a regulatory requirement to, to perform testing um, for lead content and inks and paints. You have to be a, an accredited lab to ISO 17025 to be able to publish those results and use those results in the industry. So it doesn't matter what the, the reason is, you, you may be dictated and forced to become ISO certified to a various standard. It's a tactical approach to be a supplier in that industry. The company Customers want to see those suppliers certified. That's prevalent in a lot of those industries that I've talked about. The company and the consultant have to be careful when it's a tactical approach, especially when the management isn't bought in and doesn't believe in the ISO certification or doesn't support it and just wants to hang the certificate on the wall and get the customer off the back and move forward with business as usual. Any consultant can get you certified, but looking for that fast turnkey quality system uh, can get you certified the first time, but you can't manage and sustain that system over time because it's not your own. It's not going to be manageable and sustainable with your business and culture. So the second reason companies get certified are because of sales and marketing needs. They want to use it as a sales and marketing tool to get new business opportunities. Industries want suppliers and sub-suppliers to be at least ISO 9001 certified and in many cases certified to a higher ISO based standard depending on the industry that you're in. But being ISO certified is no guarantee of good quality but it helps minimize the risk down the supply chain and that's what the customers realize and recognize. They may not have the resources to allocate to assess and audit their supply chain so they rely on the third party certification world which is a way to minimize risk. Using your ISO certification can help open doors and it should help open doors and it should help minimize customer audits at your facility. But you gotta be careful of promises of new business from customers who will say, oh, you want to do business with us? Well, get ISO certified or get AS9100 certified. And, and you have to be careful because I've seen too many times where customers throw up that barrier and then you get the certification and then the customer doesn't deliver on the business promise. The third reason, which is really the um, most enjoyable from a consulting perspective, is when clients want to get ISO certified to use it as a tool to get better as a business, to instill processes and disciplines that are good business practice and will drive improvement in the company. That's a strategic uh, uh, initiative and it, it, it doesn't matter where you fall in the spectrum, you know, the, the first reason for uh, it being dictated, the second reason for wanting it as a sales and marketing tool, or the third reason for using ISO just to become better. Doesn't matter where you fall, Simple Q is going to take the strategic approach because there's there's an approach that you can take from a client standpoint, tactical or strategic, and then the consultant can also take a tactical or strategic approach. We'll always take the strategic approach to help you achieve your certification goal. And, and when we say that, we're going to customize a solution for you, for your business, for your culture, because not one size fits all. Different businesses, different cultures might, might have different ways of accomplishing the same tasks that are still acceptable for the ISO standards. And we're going to help you implement a system that you can maintain and sustain over time. After we leave, after you have implemented and gotten certified, we're gone. And you have to manage and sustain the system over time, year after year. So those are, that's the approach that we take on the strategic side. 
To learn more about SimpleQ and how we can help, visit our website at simpleq.com. Thanks.